Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel, Learn Easy. In this video, we are going to learn about the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. But before I start, please click the subscribe button because every Saturday we are uploading videos about the grade 5 mathematics lessons using modules. Before we get started, let us first define what divisibility is. A number m is said to be divisible by another number n if n divides m completely without leaving any remainder. For example, if we divide 20 by 5, the answer is 4. Take note, there is no remainder. Therefore, we can say that 20 is divisible by 5. Now, let us learn the divisibility rule for 2. If the number is an even number, that is, if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then the number is divisible by 2. For example, take a look at your learning activity sheet in Mathematics 5. The given example there is 376. What is the last digit of 376? That is 6. And 6 is an even number. Therefore, 376 is divisible by 2. Another example, 298. What is the last digit of 298? Correct. That is 8. And 8 is an even number. Therefore, 298 is divisible by 2. Now, let's take a look at the divisibility rule for 5. This is so easy. A number ending in 0 or 5 is divisible by 5. For example, 780. The last digit of 780 is 0. Therefore, 780 is divisible by 5. Another example is 295. The last digit of 295 is 5. Therefore, 295 is divisible by 5. And lastly, the divisibility rule for 10. This is the easiest one because all numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 10. For example, 1340. The last digit of 1340 is 0. Therefore, 1340 is divisible by 10. Another example is 670. The last digit of 670 is 0. Therefore, 670 is divisible by 10. Now let us do the activity 1 of your learning activity sheet. Identify mentally if the numbers are divisible by the given number. Write yes if the number is divisible and no if the number is not divisible. Let's take a look at number 1. Can 388 be divided by 2? Let us take a look at the last digit of 388. What is the last digit of 388? 8. Therefore, 388 can be divided by 2 and the answer is yes. Number 2, can 411 be divided by 5? Let us recall the divisibility rule for 5, that all numbers ending in 0 or 5 are divisible by 5. What is the last digit of 411? 1. Therefore, 411 cannot be divided by 5. Number 3. Can 274 be divided by 2? What is the last digit of 274? 4. That is an even number. Therefore, 274 can be divided by 2. So the answer is yes. Number 4. Can 600 be divided by 5? What is the last digit of 600? 0. Therefore, 600 can be divided by 5 because all numbers ending in 0 is divisible by 5. 
Number 5. Can 367 be divided by 2? What is the last digit of 367? 7. Therefore, 367 cannot be divided by 2. Number 6. Can 715 be divided by 10? The rule for the divisibility for 10 is that all numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 10. Therefore, 715 cannot be divided by 10. Let's take a look at number 7. Can 214 be divided by 5? The last digit of 214 is 4. Therefore, 214 cannot be divided by 5. Number 8. Can 210 be divided by 5? All numbers ending in 0 or 5 are divisible by 5. And the last digit of 210 is 0. Therefore, 210 can be divided by 5. Number 9. Can 100 be divided by 10? The last digit of 100 is 0. Therefore, 100 can be divided by 10. And number 10, can 177 be divided by 10? What's your answer? No, because the last digit of 177 is 7. And only numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 10. Now, let us do activity 2. The directions. Which of the following numbers are exactly divisible by 2, 5, or 10? Fill in the table as shown. Number 1 is 438. Is 438 divisible by 2? Yes, so we put 438 under 2. Is 438 divisible by 5? No, because the last digit of 438 is 8. That's all. Thank you for watching and see you guys in our next lesson.